The 2019 campaign for Ole Miss Volleyball didn't get off to the smashing start many had hoped for. Rebels opened with three straight losses in the Rebel Invitational last weekend, taking on three teams that were all ranked in the top 40 in the nation. Rebels will head out on the road for some easier competition down in New Orleans this weekend, and the team has a lot to clean up in a hurry if they hope to be successful. I thought at times defensively we looked uh, really good. You know, definitely back row. Our blocking needs work. Uh, we missed some timely serves and just some uh, took some runs away from our team uh, with some missed serves. So that's definitely something that we'll emphasize even more. We've emphasize that since spring uh, as far as serving and blocking. Um, so those are two things we know we need to work even more on. Ole Miss will next go to battle with Houston Baptist tomorrow afternoon at 3. While Ole Miss searches out their first victory of the season, Mississippi State Bulldogs already two-thirds of the way to their win total from all of last year. After going 5-26, and 26, MSU heads south to Hattiesburg with a shiny 3-0 record this year. Bulldogs will see New Orleans, Arkansas State, and Southern Miss over the next couple of days. It's all part of a plan to help build confidence for a young MSU team. State will not see one Power 5 team in the non-conference season. Well, speaking of Southern Miss, after going 0-3 in their season opening tournament at Denver, the Golden Eagles return home for the 12th annual Southern Miss Volleyball Classic. USM will look to post win number one tomorrow night when they host Arkansas State. If it doesn't come then, they'll have more opportunities against New Orleans and then Mississippi State. That'll be a good one on Saturday night. Baseball America has released its 2019 recruiting class rankings, has the Rebels ranked second in the entire country. Second time in the last four years, the Rebels landed in the top two after having the number one class in 2016. The 2020 Rebels welcome in 24 newcomers, four of which were selected in this summer's MLB draft. Ole Miss is second to only the defending national champion Vanderbilt Commodores. The New Orleans Saints open up their season at home against the Houston Texans on Monday night. In one of the very few premier games of the week, Monday's game will pin one of the game's highest powered offenses up against one of the most imposing defenses in the league. And the Saints are well aware that they'll have to know where number 99 is at all times if they hope to be successful in their season opener. I mean, as you can tell, the guy's a heck of a player. Um, he kind of just controls that defense. He's, he's really good with his hands. He's just overall just an elite player. Um, so we'll have to scheme for him, of course, and just really see how things go. Antonio Brown is back to stirring up drama with the Oakland Raiders. Reportedly got into a heated exchange with GM Mike Mayock yesterday. He's now likely to be suspended. The exchange, which did not turn physical, involved Brown threatening to punch the man who gave him a $50 million deal earlier this year. Earlier in the day, Brown had posted a letter on social media showing that the Raiders had fined him $54,000 for missing time during training camp. Mayock made a brief comment today about Brown, but did not confirm the suspension. Okay, short and sweet. Antonio Brown's not in the building today. He won't be practicing. Uh, I don't have any more information for you right now. And when I have some and it becomes appropriate, you guys will be, all get it, I promise you. But that's it for today. So now we'll all have to wait and see if the team does officially suspend him. And if so, for how long? If Brown is suspended, the Raiders could look to void $30 million in guaranteed money from his contract. The team could also look to release the troubled wideout without having to pay him as much as the $1 million signing bonus.